Hello friends, welcome back to the subject electromagnetic field theory. Here we are having the chapter number 6 and in the starting video we have gone through the concept of what exactly the parallel plate capacitor is. It is a simple construction for capacitance which is the measurement of capability of energy storing into the electronic devices. So here the parallel plate capacitor we have understood the capacitance and the energy storage. This is the last problem we are going to take onto this parallel plate capacitor. So the problem statement is a capacitor consists of a squared two metal plates each of 200 centimeter side placed parallel at 4 mm apart. The space between the plates is filled with a dielectric having a relative permittivity of 4. The potential drop of 400 volts is maintained between the plates. Calculate, we are having the four parts. First of all, the capacitors, the charge of the capacitor, the electric flux density and the potential gradient. After reading the problem statement, what information we get? We get the information that there it is a capacitor. Okay, so it is a parallel plate capacitor and the shape of the parallel plates are square shape. Okay, so the square shape capacitor plates are of metal and they are having one of the dimension that is 200 centimeter. As the shape is square shape, we can find out the area of that particular conducting plate by taking side square. Now, next to it is they are placed parallel to each other. That is supposed to be the condition to get parallel plate capacitor into construction and the separation distance is 4 mm. Generally, the separation distance we denote by small d. So, small d is equal to 4 mm. The side of the squared shape metal plate let us denote by L. So, we can make L square to get the area of this particular metal plate. So, area generally we denote by capital S or capital A. Further, it is mentioned that the space between the plates is filled with dielectric which is necessary and that has relative permittivity of 4. So, relative permittivity we denote by epsilon r. The total permittivity of the medium is given by epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 times epsilon r where epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space having the value 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 hertz per meter. Now, a potential drop of 400 volts is maintained between the plates. So, it means the potential difference V0. So, here we have the given details that is L, D, epsilon R and V0 and we are asked to calculate the four parameters. So, first of all, I mentioned the given data. So, the given data is L, L is equal to 200 centimeter then D is also given to us that is 4 mm next to that epsilon R is given to us that is 4 and finally V0 is given to us that is 400 volts. Now as we have L that is 200 centimeter we get capital S surface area of the parallel plate capacitor given by 200 centimeter into 200 centimeter. So, this gives us 4 meter square. So, the multiplication, so it will be actually 2 meter, 200 into 10 to the power minus 2 for centi. So, it will be 2 into again 2, 2 into 2 will give us 4 meter square. Now, next thing D is okay, epsilon R. So, epsilon will be epsilon 0 into epsilon r so it will be epsilon 0 into 4. Now with these given details we are supposed to calculate first of all the capacitance value capacitance c is equal to what? So for calculating the capacitance we use the formula c is equal to what? So c is given to us by the relation that is epsilon into s upon d. So, epsilon is permittivity of the dielectric medium. So, epsilon r is given to us. So, that is 4 times epsilon 0 we can mention here. Yes, just now we have calculated that is 4 meter square. 
and d is also with us that d is having the value 4 mm so 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so here we substitute the values so epsilon will be it will be epsilon 0 into 4 so i make it 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 4 so this is epsilon s will be equal to 4 and this will be divided by 4 mm so 4 into 10 to the power minus so this simple multiplication and division will give us the capacitance value so the capacitance value c is obtained as 0 0.3 3541 into 10 to the power minus 9. As this is the value of capacitance, I must put the unit farad. So the conversion factor 10 to the power minus 9 can also be written as nano. So C is equal to 0 0.3541 nano farads. So this is the answer for part A. The problem statement we are having. So we were asked to calculate the capacitance that value we have determined and that value is 0 0.3541 nanofarads. Now let us focus our attention to find the charge of the capacitor. So for finding charge of the capacitor, we again get back to the simple relation that is C is equal to Q by V. So for part B, C is equal to Q by V or V0 we can say. So we require Q, hence I get the Q onto the left hand side, it will be the product of capacitance value and the potential difference between the two plates. So capacitance value just now we have calculated and for part A we obtained the answer 0 0.3541 nanofarads. So that we can substitute in place of C. So C we are having and in place of V0. As per the problem statement, we have the given data, a potential drop of 400 volts is maintained between the plates, this is V0. So substituting these two values, we get capital Q is equal to 0 0.3541 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 400. So this multiplication will give us capital Q is equal to 14.164 into 10 to the power minus 6. So now as this is the charge, I must put the unit coulombs. Now this can also be written as Q is equal to 14.164 that is micro coulombs. 10 to the power minus, sign, uh, minus 6, I can put micro coulombs. So this is the required answer for part B. So in part B we are asked to find the total charge of the capacitor so that we have determined having this value 14.164 microcoulombs. Now the next part to calculate is the electric flux density. Electric flux density, electric flux we generally denote by psi suffix E for electric and flux density by D bar. Okay. So for determining electric flux density we shall take into consideration electric field intensity calculation. So for part C, D bar, we take epsilon into capital E bar. If you are supposed to calculate only the magnitudes, we simply use D is equal to epsilon E. So now what is E here? Epsilon we are provided. Okay. So for getting capital E, capital E we generally measure in terms of volts per meter okay so here we are having the potential difference between the two conducting plates and the distance of separation between those plates also so here in the formula to obtain the electric flux density we can substitute e is equal to v0 upon d so for that purpose we write capital d is equal to epsilon times v0 upon d so epsilon is epsilon 0 into 4 v0 upon d. So now we substitute the values. So this will become 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 hundred per meter. So this will be multiplied by 4 and v0 we are having that is 400 volts and d will be in the denominator 
so as it is 4 mm so 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 it will be here so the simple multiplication and the division will give us the value of d that is equal to 3.5416 into 10 to the power minus 6 so as this is the magnitude of electric flux density i must put the unit coulomb per meter square where the electric flux density is with respect to the surface area of the uh, surface through which the electric flux lines are crossing hence in another way i can write the answer of part c that is d is equal to 3.5416 10 to the power minus 6 i put micro so it will be micro coulombs per meter square so the required answer for part c is given here so this was the problem statement and we are solved with part c with this answer now the last part from the problem statement number four we are having we are required to calculate the potential gradient see we have gone through the three types of vector operations using the del operator that is gradient divergence and the curve the gradient is maximum rate of change of a scalar quantity with respect to the space so potential gradient is generally given in volts per meter so in our problem statement we are having just now the value of capital e and that capital e we have just equal to v0 upon d so this is nothing but the potential gradient into the parallel plate capacitor because in parallel plate capacitor we here we are having the two identical plates separated by certain distance d which is filled with electric uh, dielectric and electric field is supposed to be there from positive plate to negative plate so here only we are having the potential difference v0 the distance of separation that is d so substituting the values of v0 and d we obtain 400 in the numerator and in the denominator 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so e that is we here say potential gradient will be equal to 100 kilo volt per meter 400 divided by 4 400 uh, 100 and this will be going in the numerator 10 to the power plus 3 i have mentioned kilo volt per meter so the required answer for the last part that is part d here we have the potential gradient we have obtained and it has the value 100 kilo volt per meter so this completes us the problems based on to the parallel plate capacitor in the subsequent lecture we are going to see the capacitance of a two wire line which is a very popular transmission line now for getting more information onto the subject electromagnetic field theory you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you